I'm going to diagram a nominal clause that's functioning as a direct object. Uh, we need a sentence. So how about, uh, we do not know if the Democrats will self-destruct. That's a sentence. Doesn't matter if it's true or not. We can diagram it. We do not know if the Democrats will self-destruct. So let's have a baseline here. Okay, let's do the things we can do easily. The subject is we. Uh, the verb is do, know, modified by the adverb not. We do not know. Now we get to the direct object. What don't we know? If the Democrats will self-destruct. Well, now that's a subordinate clause, and it's functioning as a direct object, therefore it's a noun, and nominal clauses always go on pedestals. So, uh, let's make our pedestal here, and give it a baseline. Uh, now, what don't we know? Okay, we don't know if the Democrats will self-destruct. So, Democrats... I'm, I've made this too high. I'm going to hold on for a second. I need a little more room. Uh, Democrats. The Democrats. We don't know if the Democrats. Our verb is, we have a modal verb, will, and then self-destruct, our main verb. Now that leaves one thing missing, and that's if. And what do we do with if? Well, you see that it, if doesn't actually have a whole lot of, doesn't really have anything to do uh, in this, this sentence. And in fact, it, we call words like if, in this usage of if, we call if an expletive. Uh, and the way we diagram it, that is, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't have any uh, easily defined grammatical function here. Uh, so we draw a dotted line and a little pedestal up there, and a dotted line down to the verb, and we put our expletive up there. Uh, and this is how you would diagram the sentence: We do not know if the Democrats will self destruct. So this is how you would diagram uh, a nominative, uh, uh, nom excuse me, a nominal clause that's functioning as a direct object.